Hurricane Ian was probably the most devastating hurricane in the history of Florida. Now, it, it wasn't the strongest, but it caused the most damage. We've been in the area for about six, seven years, and our first major hurricane, hopefully the last. <laughs> going to see piles of homes just on the side of the road. It crushes your heart because everyone's just trying to figure out how to rebuild. In the 28 years I've been in the fire service here, I've never seen the levels of flooding that we experienced during Ian. Just the devastation of the houses is just a completely different landscape. Two or three or four of the houses in my neighborhood, a roof was taken off the house and dropped in their front yard. Here at our house, we were very blessed, but when I went out and saw the rest of the area, is when I realized what we had survived, because there, there's, there's homeless people, people that's living in sheds. Millions went without power or water for days, but for many solar residents, the lights never went out. I think a lot of people underestimate the impact of power outages. Battery backup is gonna save, you know, millions of lives. Four days of no power is food, water, many things that we don't realize. But when you produce your own power, you have control. Our whole house is electric. The water here, the microwave, the stove, you name it, everything is electric. Our solar batteries were our rock stars. We didn't lose anything. We didn't lose a beat. My solar uh, panels and the batteries uh, basically saved my house. They say the solar panels actually help strengthen the roof. And it makes sense, you know, solar acts as a, a structure on the home. It's a shield when installed correctly. It has extra ceiling added in. The mounting is, is rated for 155 miles an hour of uplifts. It's incredible. It's like, it's incredible, like how strong was the wind. As, as I told you, like 400 houses, we had no problem. There's not even one panel fly from the roof. Since the storm, we're having trouble keeping up with the amount of phone calls and sales calls and quote requests that we're getting. I think that Florida is just going to be the leader of solar out of probably the whole world. They always thought, oh yeah, in democratic, more blue states, solar is going to be more prevalent, but it's never going to come to these red states. This is not a political thing. This is a pure, logical play in every way possible. We mainly did it to save money. Uh, I know it's going green, but uh, my husband was a former coal miner. We're not going green. <laughs> We're in an amazing time right now for progress, for growth, for change, and solar is a big catalyst involved in that. I think it burns a deep fire in us to really be a big part of the solve, which is resiliency, it's independence, it's bettering the planet, and it's, it's an amazing thing to be a part of.